Hey coders, in this video we are going to look at how to pass information from one JFrame to another JFrame that you've created. This is a follow-up video from how to create and work with new JFrames. Uh, it's using this example here where I have a name and a password, they log in, and what I wanted to say here is something like hello Bob or Bob is logged in. Right? So information from the first frame. So here we go. What you're going to notice here on my first frame, which is frame A in the sample project, is the user has typed in to the two text boxes and they've typed in I'm having a little stall out here a name and a password and I grab it out of the text boxes now I'm gonna do a very simple method here okay not the best method but a simple method to do it uh, what I do after I open up and show that new frame is I can actually send or not send it but I can set a variable on frame B to equal whatever this name was. So this is one simple method. It's not the best, but let's show you how this one works. So on frame B, the class itself for the frame, I've made a variable here called username. Okay, it's just null right now, right? It's not set to anything. Uh, one thing I can do, and I've left it public, okay? On frame A, what I can do after I've set the frame visible is I can go FB dot and you can see here I can access the username variable because it's public so I can say username equals name and name is right up here right I just grabbed it out of the text box and so in a sense remember this is a reference variable so I said hey frame set your username variable to name now the problem is is showing that in the text box how does the program know to draw it into the text box I mean on frame A I've set it and now I have frame B here uh, there's nothing really to say hey draw it now what I could do is I could do something like this public void draw name and I could say text name dot set text to username okay and so I've made the second variable here so I got this method called draw name, which will print out username, right? The string. So now in frame A, I could go, hey, FB, draw name. Okay. Giving this a test out here, I set it, and then I ask it to draw. Let's give it a go. We'll see if it works. I should be lucky here. This should work out okay. I'll just set my name to uh, Bob, log in, and there we go. It shows Bob into the box right so basically frame B has its variable now set to the data from frame A okay and that's really it okay now we had mentioned this way isn't the best because what you're doing here is you're fiddling a lot with the second frames variables and methods from frame A um, it might be better to do something like this instead so here's method 2 which is a little bit better is you'll see here on frame B I've made a method called set name okay you give it the name it'll set the name and after it sets the name I can even copy and paste this here and I can say set the name why isn't it entering my enter key here there we go and show it in the box so it's sort of all in one right or you know what I could do let's just do this nicely here draw name okay so it jumps down and draws after it gets it so a better way is to actually use the methods, right? So that frame B can actually access its own stuff, control its own uh, actions with its variables. So FB dot set name name. Okay. And there's the name variable there. Now why does it not like this? Oh there we go. Auto typing there. There we go. Set name. Okay, and so this is a bit of a slightly better way to do it. Rather than doing it step by step here and there, just call one method, right? There should be like one step that sends in the information to that other frame, right, for simplicity. So now when I give this a run, you'll see I have a little John log in, and there's the John. So it still does the same thing, just a little bit uh, cleaner version of it. Now, this way was going forward. This was going from frame A, 
passing information to frame B. It's a little easier when you're going forward, right? Going one way. All that involved we did was have a variable ready to store the data on frame B, right? And a method, right, that can set it. Now, in the next video we're going to look at, we're going to look at how to go backwards. Let's say the person has done something on this frame, and you want to send information back. And the classic example here that I'm going to sort of show you is going to be the month picker example. And in the month picker example, we're going to do something like this. You jump to a frame. It's going to let us pick a month, submit it, and that data has come back to the main frame. Okay, it's actually quite a bit different how you do this, right, in the setup that you have to use. So check that video out after, and then you know how to send information one way, and you know how to get it back the other way. Thanks for watching.